Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Vince and I post on this channel every single week about the stock market, about options trading and stock trading. So if you guys are into that kind of stuff, then make sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. So last weekend, I made a video about how we should react off that SPY 300 level. There was a bullish case and a bearish case, and we definitely took the bullish route, bouncing right off that $300 level and heading a whole lot higher. Now with that bounce came some crazy profits for myself as well as some Discord members. So in today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and review my two trades from this weekend into this week, one on Workhorse as well as on Tesla, yielding me just around 370%. So guys, if you're excited for this video, make sure to go ahead and smash that like button. Now let's get right into the trades. All right guys, so let's first go ahead and look at the Tesla trade. So looking at it here, this is the one hour chart. And what we can see is Tesla's on a pretty nice uptrend, right? We have the uptrend, it's bouncing off of it one, two, and three times. And we also have that resistance here around the $1,000 mark. So I was watching the uptrend. I was also watching this $1,000 mark. And I knew the closer Tesla got to that, the more people that would jump into the stock and the, the further it would go after that $1,000 break. And that's exactly what happened. So we broke out, we broke the 1,000 and now we're up to about 1,087. So a really big move here on Tesla and I was able to get into it right before that $1,000 break. So if I zoom in to a closer time frame, so we can see right when I got into it, I'll go to the one minute this was Monday and this is today, Tuesday. So you guys can see we opened up Monday, fell down, found really nice support and started to move higher. The SPY was also moving higher so we had some market support as well. Now looking at Tesla, getting towards the end of the day, finding some really nice support and also just sort of trending sideways as well as on a bullish uptrend. So I went ahead and I got into Tesla right here. Now if I pull up the trade confirmations, what we can see is Tesla right here, 6.29 at 1.13 p.m. I went ahead and I purchased at $9.70. I purchased a $1,200 call for July 17th. Now we can see that was right here. Went ahead and I purchased it. Had a really nice end of day run up, which made me comfortable holding this into the after hours. If you guys have traded Tesla before, you know that if it closes strong like it did right here, there's a good chance that it will hold up or go up during the after hours. And that's exactly what it did. It held up and went absolutely ballistic today, straight for a moon mission. And I was happy to hold this throughout the day. There was no signs of a bearish reversal and I just went ahead and I, sell, and I held it. So what you guys can see is I went ahead and I sold these contracts today at $26.45, just about 172% gain, just about a little bit under $2,000 gain there on the Tesla call options. Now, if I zoom into the one minute, there's some reasons why I did hold this and I'm gonna go ahead and show you. So if I zoom into this one minute here, and go into today's price action. What we can see is some really nice bullish flags that occurred during the day, which made me really confident in holding this stock. So if I go and bring this up a little bit for you guys, what you can see is we had some really nice one minute pullbacks that went ahead and broke right through. You can see right here, one minute pullbacks, went ahead and broke right through it, very bullish. Then right here we had a nice wedge or a bullish flag, whatever you wanna call it went ahead and broke right out of that as well. Now, after these two technical breakouts, I was very happy to hold Tesla. It was continuously being strong. As you guys know, people were piling into this stock. It was breaking all time highs and I was happy to hold it. Now I did decide to sell it right up here. We sort of just went you know, parabolic here and I knew that it was gonna have to cool down at some time. So I went ahead and I took my profits. Ended up being a pretty good time to sell. It sort of stayed flat during the day. Theta would have probably eaten away at my contract a little bit. So I'm happy I went ahead and I sold Tesla there, went ahead and locked in some gains. So really nice trade here on Tesla. I also called this out in the Discord right here yesterday, called it out July, July 17th, $1,200 call, at, went ahead at $9.70. Let the Discord members know. Some other members got into this as well as another member that likes to scalp Tesla. He made some good money on this as well. So overall, great trade for me and great trade for the members here. So the next trade guys is Workhorse. And yes, I did get in on the hype on Workhorse. I knew it was a good potential trade, a good potential maybe two or three day trade to try to ride some of this momentum with some call options. And I got them for extremely cheap before most of the people got into this. So I was very happy with this trade. So looking at the chart here, this is the one hour, obviously on a really nice uptrend. You guys can see bouncing right off of it twice right here. So a really nice uptrend for Workhorse. So if I go ahead and break down where I got into these trades, I'll go to the five day one minute and we'll look at exactly where I went ahead and I got into these trades. So I was actually getting into Workhorse here on Thursday. Thursday, Friday I added 
and just went ahead and I sold it on Monday. So a really big pop over the weekend that I was very happy to see. So you can see, I'll pull up the trade confirmations and I'm gonna have to find these, bear with me here. So workhorse, first one was at, right here, uh, one, one workhorse, July 17th, $10 strike price uh, at $1.90. So that was my first ad, that was right here. Added it, found some momentum here. Maybe not the best ad, as you can see it turned on me, but with only $190 in the stock, which I told you guys before, go ahead and try to start with small positions. I was not worried about this. I was down maybe 30 or 40 bucks at this time, so it was nothing that I was scared or wanted to get out of. I actually went ahead and I added at the absolute perfect time. As you guys can see, added here at I think around 65 cents. So added here, one more contract at 65 cents. So held that into the next day. It held up pretty well. I was down slightly on the position, but I was happy to hold this and try to ride some more momentum. So if we go to the next day, what you guys can see, this is Friday. I went ahead and I added another position. So right here, if I zoom up, if I go up to Friday, you guys can see that I did go ahead and add here to Workhorse, July 17, $10 contract for $1.25. So I did add right there. Now, you know, held that throughout the day, had a really nice bullish, up, bullish uptrend here, started to continue higher through the rest of the day and closed really strong. As you guys know, Friday was also a strong day for the market. So I was happy to hold this through the weekend. I was up nice on the stock, I'm sorry, nice on the option contract, and I was happy to hold this. When you guys, if you guys have traded these type of stocks before, these momentum stocks, sometimes weekends are great for them. If they close strong and they open up Monday, they sometimes really spike up in the after hours, and that's exactly what we saw here. Huge after hours spike, opened you know, the next, the next on Monday, opened around $12 a share. As you guys can see, during that day, huge spike up, and I went ahead and I started to scale out of this position. Again, workhorse was going parabolic, and I wanted to take my profits. I was up around 200% on these call options. So what you guys can see is I went ahead and I started to scale out of this position. So first scale out was right here, two of them for $4.40, and then the last one here sold the last one for $4.01. So about a 200% return on this, if I pull up the actual trades on the E-Trade, uh, what we can see, workhorse, one, two, and one. So purchased about four call options right here for an average of, let me pull up the, uh, pull up the dollar amount. So 65, 381, and 125. So went in with about $511 on workhorse. And I went ahead and I sold them both. So 511, so 878 plus 818 minus 511. So just about $1,100 profit on that. So a huge percentage gain as well as a huge profit on Workhorse. I also called this out in the Discord. Members also made some great profits on this. And I went ahead and I rolled this momentum on Workhorse. So another great trade for this week. So guys, obviously some awesome profits there on Tesla as well as on Workhorse. Wanted to break down that technical analysis that I went ahead and I did on the stock. And the reasons why I did go ahead and hold some of those contracts a little longer than I usually would. I'm trying to hold these contracts a little longer. I'm trying to let the winners ride and cut the losers short. Now I have a tendency of cutting my winners sort of short and I always end up regretting it. So this, this start to this week, I went ahead and I made sure that I would let those winners ride a little bit more and it definitely worked out for me. Called out all the trades there in the Discord chat. The members made some crazy money as well. It was an awesome environment there in the chat this start to this week. Now, when I say that the Discord chat is making me a better trader, I am seriously not lying about it. Some of the people in there calling out some great stocks, putting my eyes on some movers that I may have missed in the past. So I'm extremely grateful for everyone in there. And if you're watching this, thank you guys so much for the support. Thank you guys so much for calling out some of the trades that you do. And thank you guys for making that an awesome community. If you guys want to join the Discord, the link is going to be down in the description below. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.